When we got into 3D printing and got the Gigabot, it was about doing some fixturing in the weld area. My name is Scott Britson. I am the Assistant Engineering Manager for Stellar Industries. We design cranes, hook loaders, tire service equipment for the construction and mining industries. Since we've got the Gigabot, you know, it's kind of a piece that everybody wants to come up and see, everybody wants to take a look. We've had our assembly department come up and say, hey, you're doing that part. Do you think we could get something like that for this? We have that concept. Our engineering department draws something up. We put it on the Gigabot and two days later they have the part and they're constantly thinking of new ideas to help them improve their throughput. My name is Matt Schrader. I'm the engineering manager at Stellar Industries. I think initially we were focused on the cost and the timing aspects and being able to just print something when we needed it. That was initially. And once we brought it in, it excited people's ability to think outside the box. It got people thinking about innovation in ways that we originally weren't intending. For example, we had a small component for a paint system that was several hundred dollars to replace and you had to buy the entire kit to do so. And we were able to look at the small part, recreate it in 3D and print it that night and they were up and going the next day. So it was very fast and it was very economical. I think something that was very eye-opening to me was the range of materials that we could print. I was of a mindset that we could just print something in PLA, and it was just this kind of hard plastic proof of concept. But we're printing very tough and durable materials. We're printing things that can bend and stretch and flex. We're printing gaskets. Things like that are not what we had envisioned, but being able to print those large varieties of materials is really helping us. And I think there's gonna become a tipping point where we produce more and more production parts versus prototyping parts. Things that we wouldn't have initially thought of, like go, no-go quality tools. Someone from maintenance approached us and they needed a specialty part for a machine that broke down. We were able to rapidly respond. We're looking at tools for the production floor, jigs and fixtures. All these things have really come to life and now we're at a point where we need a second machine. I don't think in the beginning we knew that we would be running the Gigabot nonstop. From the day that we got it to about 45 days down the road, that thing was running 40 days, day and night. The only time that it was down was because it was a weekend and we didn't have it running through the weekend or we were letting the bed cool to pull the prints off Gigabot. We were able to keep the machine running nonstop for about six months. There was just a couple times for some minimal preventative maintenance that we had the machine down and it's still running around the clock today. In fact, we've been so busy we had to get a second machine going. 